Hi. This is the 3D fan. This is a fan which displays 3D animation. There it comes with two remote controls. One is to control the fan and one is to control the LED lights. So if I control the LED lights for the ring, I can change in the color by pressing on the buttons. You can also make a sequence from different colors, like it, it does now. So you can change all colors with this remote control. With this remote control, there's an on-off button, there's a mode button, up and down, plus and minus. Well, the on and off is just to turn on the fan, so it will start. The plus button is for more brightness in the LED animation. And minus is for less brightness. The arrow up and down to change the animation into another animation. The mode button is the ch changing sequence, which you can change in how fast um, it must change from other animation. So I will turn it on right now. There it goes. And now it starts. It first has to start up the system, so it takes some time. And when it, the system has started, it will show the first animation. The animation are stored on an SD card. So you can, with a computer, can change your content. And you can change it by computer or you can change it by, by an app. First I explain by the computer. You can change it by computer, by a Windows computer. It comes with a uh, Windows software system. And then you uh, are able to change your video into uh, an enabled video for this 3D fan. So you just change your uh, video or JPEG and load it on uh, the TF card, which you plug in into this 3D fan and then play the content. Besides that, this 3D fan has also Wi-Fi, so it can connect with your mobile phone with an app. So you install the app, which comes with this 3D fan, and then you connect it by the Wi-Fi of this 3D fan, and then you can send your photos or videos to the 3D fan. So for instance, you take a picture, or you make a video and then go to your app and load the video or picture into the app and then send it to this 3D fan. Now you can see some different kind of animations. You uh, see a ring here and you see some uh, sh um, cycling sports clothes and you can see also an hamburger so with this remote control you can also change content so if i click on the arrow for the next one i click it for the next one yes then it stops and then it looks up for the next one and there it is the next one in this video you can see there's always a black kind of arrow turning around but this is because of this spinning for the fan is so fast that it shows this black um, spinning but in real you don't see this spinning it's only on this video so for brightness you can just make put the arrow up or put the arrow down so it has less brightness depending on where the 3D fan is located you can make the brightness up and down
to have a real 3D effect, like this ring, you have to make your content like uh, freestanding. So there are no background colors, just like this, then it's the best to see a 3D animation. Okay, here we see the last video is the animation for the hamburger. So make your content on your computer and then convert it with a program or send it with your mobile phone app to the 3D fan by Wi-Fi and then you have the content running. I can show you a little bit the housing for this 3D fan so you can see how it looks like on the side at the back side it has also the same LED ring so if I turn it off Turn it off now. Now it's turned off. So be careful because uh, the fan is turning very fast. Normally, you have if uh, it's too close to people, you have to put some plastic plexi in front of it because otherwise it can be dangerous. So here we have the fan. It's full of LED lights, small LED lights. It gives the projection of the video for the animation, the 3D animation. And here you can find a TF card. You just take it out, plug it into your computer, new animations on it, plug it back in, and start the fan and it will play your new content or like I told you you can do it also via Wi-Fi so you can transfer it via your app from your phone to the 3d fan okay thank you for watching